All right, Tim, what prices do you think the Super Series refresh uh, will release at and which is the highest price you'd consider reasonable? Oh, I always hate those questions, but thank you for the question. Uh, this is assuming that the intent is for the 4070 Super and 4070 Ti Super to replace the 4070 Ti and 4080 respectively. Hmm. So I'm not sure that's what they'll be aiming for. Not sure they'll be going, oh, let's replace the 4070 Ti with the 4070 Super because that will be... I think last q and I said something along the lines of I expect it to be similar to what we saw with the 20 series. So mm-hmm. they'll replace them at the existing price points and then those vanilla models, let's say, will, will filter down a bit in price and mm. where they get phased out over time, I don't know. But I think... Yeah, I think that's probably more more likely to happen, especially because the rumors aren't suggesting like a huge improvement in terms of performance. So if they were trying to sell like a card that's only five or ten percent faster, that's let's say the forty seventy super, five or ten percent faster, more at the price of a forty seventy Ti, that card would be horrific. Probably one of the worst releases ever. So that's probably going to happen. I don't know. Probably not going to happen. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, so I think it's more likely they'll be priced around the same. So we're saying MSR. MSRP, so 4070 yeah. Ti Super, oof, that'll be $800. And yeah, then the standard 4070 Super, which I think is probably going to be the biggest upgrade in terms of performance and probably, what it's getting, yeah. minus the VRAM, of course, uh, that'll be $600. What should they be? And when you say what should they be, what should they be in our little fantasy land where GPU prices are what they used to be or sort of in the current climate of G because I think in the current climate $600, I mean, what should it be? Depends how much faster it is, isn't it? Yeah. If it's like 20% faster and it costs $600, I mean, what's the 4070 now? You can get that for as, as low as like 520 right. maybe, yeah, 550 is pretty typical. Um, so if, you, if you're looking at 20% more performance, $600, that wouldn't be – Awful. It's but a not reasonable great. refresh. Yeah, reasonable. Uh, I think the forty seventy Ti is probably one of the least well priced current products because you want it closer to five hundred dollars. But then if we say yeah. that you're restructuring the entire lineup, which isn't going to happen. Yeah, so. I guess it depends. Like, how bad is the current lineup? Like, is is the current pricing of something like a forty seventy unreasonable? I think now it's closer to five hundred dollars. It's not that unreasonable. Mm. It's, it seems probably one of the better products that you can get today in that range. So yeah, if they're sort of matching that value, it's probably not terrible. But then I would expect like a 4070 Ti Super that's only slightly better than a 4070 Ti. I didn't think $800 for a 4070 Ti was a particularly great price. Yeah. So if it's I, only slightly better at the same price, is, is that... That's right. I'd want that product more like 750 I guess, yeah. in the current lineup and that that's accounting for the extra vram that it, we suspect it's getting yes yeah, so that probably fixes a little bit of that product yeah because 800 dollars for a 12 gigabyte card was laughably bad i'll say i'd like it to be 750 but it's mm. likely going to be 800 but of course we have no idea we'll have to wait until the announcement which i think is on the 8th of january we don't have any of the details officially yet so i suppose we can talk about it well, I think that's when they see yes, sort of. That's when we. That's, that's when we've been guessing this will yeah. happen, and whether or not they release the pricing information at that point in time, which I suspect they would, because there's not much else to announce really. Uh, yeah, unless like AMD, they do like a last minute price cut, or they cut prices in between the announcement and the release. That's the only mm-hmm. thing that they might try and respond to, but. Yeah, I can't imagine there'll be too much of that, and a lot of these products, like the forty seventy Ti Super. I guess it's competing with the 7900 XT a little bit, the 4080 Supers, what like XTX, and they've already had some price adjustments there mm-hmm. for those products. Like the 7900 XT has come down to more like $750. So a lot of that price movement's probably already happened. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, I would expect that, yeah, the pricing to come out probably around then and we'll, we'll get a pretty good idea. But, you know, I can't see this being like everyone saying GPU prices are bad. I'm waiting for the next really good pricing thing. I, Come on, guys. It's not. This is not going to be that. No. 